It's homecoming week for Ohio, and the Bobcats will rattle off four in a row after their week one loss against Louisville. will host the Central Michigan Chippewas for the festivities this Saturday afternoon. The Chippewas head into Athens, one week removed from picking up their first conference victory of the season after beating the MAC bottom feeding Miami Redhawks 21 to 9. And although the streaking Bobcats are easily favored in the homecoming matchup, the Chippewas have had Ohio's number the past decade, with the MAC West foe winning four of the last five against the Bobcats. But with that being said, the Bobcats won the last meeting between the two teams back in 2011, when Ohio traveled to Mount Pleasant, Michigan and defeated the Chippewas 43 to 28. A second straight victory against Central Michigan isn't the only thing on the line come Saturday. With a win, Frank Solich of the Bobcats would bring the program's all-time win total to 530 and more importantly, bring the all-time record back to an even 500. An impressive feat for a program that saw very minimal success before Solich took over the reins. Get this program above, above 500 I, I think is very meaningful to, uh, to everyone uh, associated with the program and that, that's very far reaching from those in the past to, to those uh, in, in the present. The Chippewa to watch on Saturday is sophomore running back Sailor Lavalley, who has filled in respectably for the former 1,000-yard rusher Zerlin Tipton, who has been out with an injury for a greater portion of the season. For the Bobcats, keep an eye on the defensive front seven, who is coming off an eight-sack performance last week against Akron. And if the Bobcats are able to pick up the win this weekend, it will mark the first time that Ohio has beaten Central Michigan at home since 2000.